Hello, this is Edward Lambert with another video about the six element theory for acupuncture. And this is the second part of a two series about the San Chiao Meridian. And this, this video is going to concentrate on the hypothalamus. And it's from chapter 10 of my ebook, Creating Life. Okay, the hypothalamus and San Chiao. I just want to point out here to start out with that the corresponding organ to the San Chiao Meridian is the hypothalamus and the endocrine system. Okay, Aha. let's start. The homeostasis of the internal environment is primarily regulated by the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is the main center of control for homeostasis in the body. When one speaks of homeostasis, one has to speak of the hypothalamus. So there would have to be a connection between the hypothalamus and the seed meridians, San Jiao and pericardium. The hypothalamus is traversed by the San Jiao channel and the divergent channel of pericardium. So there is a direct connection to the, from the hypothalamus to the seed meridians. San Jiao transports primordial Yuan Qi through the homeostatic concentrations of the interstitial fluids. This is exactly what the hypothalamus does through its regulations of hormone concentrations in the blood plasma and interstitial fluids. In six element theory, the hypothalamus is the corresponding organ to the San Jiao channel. Like I said before, the hypothalamus has exactly the same functions as San Jiao. These functions are harmonize all three Jiaos and all organs of the body by way of the water passages. The hypothalamus harmonizes all parts and organs through hormonal control. Primordial power harmonizes whatever is permeated by its presence. San Jiao permeates all parts of the body the way that primordial power permeated the primordial soup. With this complete permeation, all parts can be harmonized. Second function, to perform qi transformation around the body. The homeostatic synergy of Yuan Qi transforms all qi throughout the, the body-mind. The synergy of Yuan Qi transforms and empowers activity in all the meridians. The hypothalamus regulates metabolism and bodily functions. Third function, to transport Yuan Qi and fluids through the co of the body. The hypothalamus makes adjustments to the interstitial fluids, which flow through the co-spaces between the cells. The adjustments produce the homeostatic synergy of Yuan Qi. Thus, the hypothalamus produces the Yuan Qi that flows in the interstitial fluids. By itself, the hypothalamus monitors and regulates a wide variety of physiological and emotional activities. There's a long list here. Temperature of blood, core and peripheral body temperature, osmotic pressure for thirst, hunger and satiety, moving food through the digestive tract, waking and sleep patterns, rage, aggression and fear, hormonal concentration, secretions of other glands, heart rate, emotional state, sex drive, contraction of the urinary bladder, sound, smell and taste receptors, growth, development and metabolism, reproductive cycle, menstruation, gamete production. Imagine everything that the hypothalamus is touching and regulating. Very important systems from digestive to circulatory to sexual, sexual reproduction. It is important that the hypothalamus be recognized as a major organ in Chinese medicine. That's just simply clear, and it hasn't been, and it's time. Modern physiology has revealed that the hypothalamus is at the center of many health problems like migraine headaches, depression, anorexia, and obesity. The hypothalamus regulates hormones throughout the body. Obviously, regulating hormones is an extremely important function and has to be recognized directly and clearly by meridian theory and acupuncture philosophy. Six element theory incorporates the hormonal control by the hypothalamus into the sixth element, seed and its meridians, sun, jiao, and pericardium. Seed bathes the body and the other five elements in Yuan primordial qi. Without the functions of the hypothalamus, there would be no life. The basic correspondences and principles of six element theory provide a solid framework for assessing and treating homeostatic disorders. When qi flows smoothly in the San Jiao and pericardium channels, homeostasis can endure the stresses impacting our health. Treatments unblock and circulate qi in the San Jiao and pericardium channels to secure Yuan Qi. The ultimate message of six element theory is living in homeostatic harmony gives life an enduring power and serenity. I am reminded of the words of Jesus. Blessed are the humble, for they shall inherit the earth. 
Humbleness reflects a healthy homeostatic harmony.